If you look at human history, you'll see that the first technology we had was our brains. And after some help from the brain, we invented tools and discovered fire. Don't underestimate these inventions that early humans did. All the rocks that turned into tools before are now extremely more advanced. Nuclear bomb, artificial intelligence, deadly weapons, and a lot of other stuff. Humans were advancing through history, but recently it sped up a little bit. But after the 1960s, where computers joined the group, the speed has gone up exponentially. Computers came to help the brain to speed up the technology we have. But when we look at the computers that we're using today, it seems like we're about to hit a limit. What's gonna be up next? You might not believe it, but we're still advancing more and more today. Right now, computer parts are getting smaller and smaller, and they're getting so small that they're getting close to the size of an atom. But to understand this, we have to learn some complicated stuff. As you guys know, computers are built with different types of parts, and it's meant to process data. Inside a circuit chip of a computer, there's basic modules, and in those, there are logic gates, and in the logic gates, there are transistors. Transistors are the most basic part of processing data, and they're kind of like a light switch. The information that is being processed are called bits, and they're formed with the number one and zero. And when you put these bits together, the information gets more complicated and more complicated. These number one and zeros you guys are seeing, each of them are like a kid in school. Kids that can fix problems when they work together. Computer components can get smaller, but quantum physics makes everything harder. Just like we said, transistors are like a light switch, and it allows electrons to pass through or not pass through. In today's technology, a transistor is only 14 nanometers. That's extremely small. That means eight times smaller than the HIV virus and 500 times smaller than a human red blood cell. You guys notice how small these transistors are? And we could see it in the modern devices. We see cell phones that are more advanced than the computers before and they're really small. But quantum physics is a barrier. Meaning, after all this, when transistors get smaller, what happens is that electrons don't listen to the transistor anymore, and it can't stop them anymore. And that is why they just pass through. When a transistor can't control the electrons and let them pass through or not, that's called quantum tunnel. If we want to make our computers more advanced, we're gonna have to talk about quantum physics. And right now, scientists and engineers are working on this technology, and they've even created quantum computers. Just like we said, in a normal computer, zero and one, which are also called bits, are the smallest piece of data in a computer. Bits in a quantum computer are called qubits, and they're also two different numbers. Q 
qubits are not like bits, and their numbers are not usually set. In a qubit, both numbers are present until they are measured, and that is when the qubit assigns its own number. When you have four bits, and as you know, that's the older technology, you have four bits, they form numbers from one and zeros, and they create 16 different numbers, but they can only use one of those numbers. But qubits give those 16 different numbers, and you could use all 16 numbers, and that's already 16 times bits, and this really makes processing information a lot faster. It's really complicated, huh? But this is the future of computers. Regular computers take data and return data. But quantum computers can take extremely complicated data, process it, and give it back. But don't think that in the future, everybody's gonna have a quantum computer. In your home, you don't really need a quantum computer. But there are a lot of different places that would love to have a computer like this. Like the international police wants to find someone with one picture. A regular computer can't really do this. And even if it can, it's gonna take a long time. But a quantum computer can do the same job in a very shorter time. Quantum technology can also find ways to cure diseases. We really can't say, are quantum computers bad or good? Using this can cause a revolution in technology. It could turn the world better or this advanced technology can turn people to slaves. And that means anywhere you are in the world, your position is known everywhere. And that means if they need me, they know exactly where I am. This technology can easily turn to this in a place where privacy doesn't exist anymore. I hope this doesn't happen because it's scary. But if this technology can help the Earth and its creatures, it's gonna be amazing. Please leave a comment and just know that we read every single comment.